14 things women don't realize about men. Number 14, men do cry. This has to be one of the most stereotypical things that women think about men, is that they don't cry. Of course, we all cry when we're kids, and a deeply sensitive man might cry over a movie, but a lot of women believe that men don't cry at all, ever. This is the perfect time to change your thinking because they actually do. In movies, men are portrayed as strong, rock-hard people who have no emotion and rarely cry. Everyone is different, but some guys are more emotional than others and can take things very personally. It's essential that if you do see your man cry, not to make fun of him, but instead make sure you comfort him. Then he'll feel more open and comfortable around you. So be sure to be sensitive to your man and remember he's not a robot. He has emotions just like you. Number 13, cuddling. Just about everyone likes to cuddle, but what some women don't know is that men like to cuddle. People often assume that because boys are tough, they don't like to get cozy and snuggle up next to you. Cuddling and being close to someone is natural and something that is just built into us. As kids, we run to our parents for affection and love, and we cuddle them to feel loved, so we never really outgrow that. Another huge thing that girls think is that men try to use cuddling to make it lead to other things, which may be the case sometimes, of course, but not every time does it mean he's trying to get straight to the deed. I know it's tough, but don't let the stereotype of men wanting physical satisfaction cloud your judgment. Women and men love to cuddle. That's all there is to it. Number 12. Don't always play hard to get. Ladies, when you're trying to get the guy you want, most of the time women try to play the hard to get game. They flirt with him and tease him and get the guy to ask them out and then suddenly remember they're too busy or come up with an excuse and make them chase them. It can be a fun game on both ends, but it's also important to know when to stop before you turn him off and he loses interest. You have to make sure it gets to a point where he finally gets you and the chasing stops or else he might just get tired of the tease and move on to someone else. What many women don't realize is men sometimes enjoy playing hard to get in the beginning, but then it just becomes becomes annoying and exhausting. It takes a lot of energy trying to get someone and constantly being let down can hurt his ego. So it helps if you know when playing hard to get is good and when it's time to stop the games and give him a break. Number 11, trying to make him jealous. This method has been used by pretty much everyone. To get and be able to keep a guy is to make him jealous. Some women will try to let the guy she's interested in think she's in high demand by flirting with someone else. They think it's no big deal and safe, but what women don't realize is that using jealousy to get the guy she wants is not a good approach. Most men don't like when women purposely make them jealous. Girls might think it makes them look more attractive by letting their guys know that other people want them, but the truth is it's kind of a turnoff and shows you're screaming for attention. Most women wouldn't want their man flirting with other girls just to show that they've got it, right? Trying to make someone jealous just makes them feel used and hurt. Don't cause issues in your relationship by trying to make him jealous. Women don't realize how much he hates it. Number 10, solving problems. This happens all the time. You come home from a bad day and you begin to tell your man all your problems. And once you finish talking, he starts to offer solutions and trying to help you out. And women get frustrated because they wonder why he can't just listen to you. But some women don't realize that men have a tendency to try to solve a problem and other solutions to fix it because that's just how men are built. They don't always understand that we just want to rant and have them feel sorry for us and listen without input. Men are just natural problem solvers. They want to help and try and fix your problem. So ladies, next time, don't freak out on him. Instead, try asking him to listen and not offer an answer. Number nine, multitasking. Women joke about how men can't multitask, and the reality is, that is the truth. Men can't seem to jump from topic to topic like women can. Women's thoughts can move a mile a minute and think about multiple things at a time. Women can be thinking about her to-do list, making dinner, something funny she saw on TV the night before, and then remembering you didn't take the trash out. Men, on the other hand, can multitask, but when it comes to conversations, they think of one topic at a time. They put their topics into compartments and keep thoughts separate and move from one topic to the next carefully. To make it easier to visualize, think of it as men have a bunch of rooms in their head and can only be in one room at a time. Number eight, self-conscious. Men might act like they don't care about things, but the truth is that guys can be self-conscious too, just like women. They might have something bothering them on the inside, but play it off and joke about it on the outside to make it seem like he doesn't care. Men often put up barriers using things like avoidance and humor to deal with their self-consciousness. It's important to encourage your man and let him know that even if he doesn't think he's looking excellent lately, make him feel appreciated by you. Be the woman who sees past his barriers and truly understands him. It'll pay off. Number seven, attention. Many women believe that they are the only ones who should get most of the attention in a relationship. They like to be looked at and told they're good looking. Women love attention. But the truth is men like attention too. They may try to come off as tough on the outside, but they are still human and like to be told they look good and have attention once in a while. I'm sure we've all noticed that when men get sick, they become babies and it amplifies their need for attention and extra love. So ladies, be sure to show your man full attention more often. 
It's human nature to want attention, not just women nature. Number six, how they think. Women love to romanticize things. It's just built in us. Maybe when you're watching a movie and the love scene comes on, you think perhaps he's thinking about you while watching it. But then you ask him what he's thinking and he says, nothing. Well, what most women don't realize is that sometimes men are literally not thinking about anything. This relates to the multitasking thing. Women can think of a new thing every second, but men are only thinking about one thing at a time. Men are usually focused on the task in front of them at the time and might just let their thoughts stop. So next time you ask him what he's thinking about and he replies with nothing, Thing, don't freak out! Number 5. Compliments who doesn't like to be complimented? Everyone loves to be praised sometimes. It's a great feeling knowing someone else likes how you look or what you're doing. It makes us feel appreciated and loved. It boosts our confidence and makes us feel good about ourselves. Women pretty much live for compliments and will go out of their way to get one. Wearing makeup, buying new clothes, doing their hair really nice. But sometimes women forget that men like to be complimented too. It often goes forgotten that being appreciated is a human desire, so that includes men. Complimenting should go both ways, and men shouldn't be the only ones doing the complimenting. They should be receiving them just like the ladies. Tell them what you love about him by complimenting him, and you may be surprised to see how your relationship is getting stronger and more secure. Showing affection through words is a great way to boost someone's confidence and self-esteem. Number 4. True Beauty Hair products and makeup are advertised to make it seem like you need to buy the product and look a certain way to catch the man of your dreams. The world portrays women as saying the more dolled up you are, the more attractive you'll be. But the truth is that most women prefer natural beauty. They would rather you forget the makeup and put on some casual clothes and just hang out with them. Many men have admitted that they find it the hottest when you are just lounging around in your sweatpants instead of a dress and heels. There's something attractive about people being natural and just being herself that draws people in. This doesn't mean you should go throw away all your expensive beauty products. Putting some effort in when you see him is never a bad idea. Just realize that if you're relying on makeup to attract him, you're probably trying a little too hard. Number 3. Laughter is always good. Chances are your man is always trying to fit in a joke at every moment he can and is always making silly faces to try and make you laugh. Try this. Instead of rolling your eyes at him and being annoyed and walking away, laugh at him and be goofy. It's one of the highest compliments a guy can receive from you. Guys just love goofy girls and girls that have a good sense of humor. Remember back in grade school when boys would always tease you to get your attention? It's because they wanted you to notice them and make you laugh. When you laugh at someone's jokes, it gives them validation and confirmation in who they are. Just make sure you laugh with him and not at him. If he genuinely makes you laugh, make sure you show it, and he feels your love. Number two, they can like girly things too. A lot of women think that men like to do guy things and avoid anything girly like the plague. Most men will avoid those things to make sure they don't get teased, but the truth is they do like to do girly things. Some will hide their enjoyment when watching a chick flick or getting a manicure. They hide their girly likes to make themselves seem tough and manly on the outside. It's much better for a relationship if he doesn't feel like he has to hide that side of himself when he's around you. If anything, women should be happy that they can share those things with her man, just like a best friend. Liking girly things is something most women don't realize about men. Number 1. Needing space Everyone needs space and time for themselves, whether or not it be a man or a woman. Psychologists have told us for years that taking care of our mental health and taking care of ourselves is extremely important. Just because he's a guy doesn't mean he can't take warm baths, light some candles, and relax on his own. Taking the time to look inwards and keep up with yourself for personal growth is so important. Even though you're a couple, you also need to be individuals and have your own separate time apart. Be understanding if he just says he needs some time alone and wants to stay at his own house for a night. Don't take it personally. If you give him space, he'll likely love you even more for realizing what he needs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.